because a guy like that, uh, he doesn't need a lot to, to start to notice some results, and you don't want to overburden him by having him work out too much. He probably won't even want to work out too much. But 30 to 60 seconds of an intense workout in addition to the oxygenation, the, the uh, micronutrition through the Beyond Tangy Tangerine, the, the good fats, and the protein. That's where I would start him off on. That's how I would start him off. Does that help, Dave? That helps a great deal, and I just want to say, I, we love the bone soup, and to Jake out there, my grandson's name is Jake, and he just turned one years old, and he's been on uh, the uh, Mighty 90 since he was two months old. That's he's awesome. He's vaccinated, never been sick, and he's uh, oh, that's awesome, achieving Dave. on all of his motor skills. And yeah, That's awesome. Great. Congratulations, Dave. Thanks so much for Thank calling. I appreciate it. You made my day, buddy. Thank you so much. Thanks, man. That's, that's awesome. Awesome. I love hearing stories like that. If you got a success story, please feel free to share it. You're going to help a lot of people. This is what this is all about. You know, I do this show every day. I come here, I, I, I come on the air every day, five days a week, just to make sure that I'm spreading the word to help you guys. I don't get paid for this. And you can do it, too. So even just getting on the phone, calling 855-660-4261 here on this program and sharing your success story, you can make a huge difference as well. All right, Jim in California, what's going on? Welcome to the Bright Side. Hey, Ben. Um, I did some uh, serious homework regarding my wife's hypothyroidism, and um, and I do understand the adrenal fatigue factor. Is this Game Boy, Jim? Are you Game Boy? And I know, you, hate, and I know you hate labels like Hachimoto's, um, but it seems like we're actually exacerbating her conditions. As I read that um, her supplementing with iodine and her kale smoothies could be throwing gasoline on the fire uh, I i've heard i've heard that, that hashimoto's iron okay here's the deal hashimoto's is an autoimmune disease all right did you say she had leaky gut i'm assuming that based on she's symptomatic straight down the line with with um the low blood pressure is ridiculously low her her high number is in the 70s how's low her seven all right, we gotta cut, we're gonna have to do some, some simplification here, all right, because there's a lot of stuff going on. I always wanna simplify. Number one. What, and I don't want to be graphic or gross here, but you've got to focus on all of her digestive symptoms, including the bowel movements. That's the only way to really assess what's happening inside the body. There's really no other way to do it, especially if she's got all of these things, go, all of these um, health issues going on. You've got to get down to the basics here. We've got to focus on what she's not processing correctly. The only way to do that is to go by bowel movements, cramps, bloating, heartburn, all of those symptoms. That's the first thing you've got to do. Hashimoto's is an autoimmune disease where the body attacks, uh, where the body turns its, its, its weaponry, its immune system weaponry on, its, on the thyroid. Hashimoto's is an autoimmune disease of the thyroid. And indeed, a vast majority of, autoimmune disease, of uh, thyroid disease involves autoimmunity. Vast majority of hypothyroidism has a Hashimoto's autoimmune component the body attacking the thyroid. So whenever you have hypothyroidism or Hashimoto's or any autoimmune disease, you got to focus on why is, the autoimmune, why is the immune system being triggered? What is activating this immune system? The immune system is only supposed to be triggered by things that are by the enemy. If you got the immune system attacking the thyroid, it's confused and it's overworked and it's hyperactive. And the only reason that occurs is because something is chronically, that is over repeatedly, over and over and over, over, getting into the body, turning this defense mechanism, this immune system mechanism on. Now, uh, you can, she could be injecting drugs right into her veins. Probably she's not doing that. There's an outside chance she could be breathing something toxic and deadly into her body again. Probably she's not doing that. Her the most likely movements are very irregular. And well, you, there you go, Jimbo. There you go, well, my friend. Pushing her on, uh, what do you think about enemas or coffee enemas? No, you can, that's that. mechanical. Jim, that's mechanical. She's got a biochemical issue. You're trying to address a biochemical issue using mechanical techniques by forcing the body to do something it doesn't want to do. It's holding on to stuff because something is getting into the intestines that's causing a stickiness and a clogginess. It has to do with food, almost 100%, 99.999%. It has to do with food. If she's her constipated. Diet is almost, uh, almost fully strict, um, straight down your, your recommended line. I mean, doesn't matter. You could, she could be reacting to spinach. She could be Are reacting, you? Jimbo, she could be reacting to spinach. She could be reacting to, to tomatoes. 
You know, she could be saying, all I do is eat. I read last night that kale Kale can do it. exacerbates this. Absolutely. Kale has has iodine. So should she stop the kale and the iodine? She should see whatever the food is that's causing the constipation. Here's what I would do if I were you, okay? First of all, get her her on the best probiotics you can get. That's the first thing you want to do for the constipation. Much of the stool is made up of bacteria in the gut. If you have probiotic problems, uh, bacterial problems, it's very likely that you... billion, the, the goal number? and a broad variety. How much did you say? 80 billion. 80 billion, 100 billion, 120 billion. Yeah, somewhere along those. That would be great. But more concerning to me, Jim, is what is she doing over and over and over again that she thinks is good for her that she keeps doing? Yeah, it could be the kale. I don't know what it is. So every time she's constipated, she needs to write in a, have a little journal, and she has to write down in that journal what she ate two hours before, three hours before, all the way up to six or eight hours before, and keep a running, to- a running tab on everything she's eating so she's linking her digestive symptoms to specific foods and it may take you a few weeks to figure this thing out but it is well worth it because every time she eats something that is causing constipation she's taking years or she's taking days off of her life because she's putting something in her body that her body has to now process and uh, she's running high risks of deposition of poisons in the connective tissue and certainly if she has an autoimmune disease that means that she's got activation of the immune system inappropriate activation of the immune system all of which bode ill for, few, uh, for a long life and it can accelerate her morbidity and ultimate demise. And none of that is good. Focus on foods. Trigger. Uh, notice what foods are triggering her digestive symptoms. I wish we had more time, Jim, to talk. But that's all we got for today on The Bright Side. I'm Pharmacist Ben. Thanks for listening, folks. Have a wonderful, beautiful day. We'll talk to you all later. Bye for now. My name is Jessica Armand. I'm an activist, a GCN listener, and mother of three. Our drinking water and food are filled with fluoride and other contaminants that harm our teeth and gums. To protect my family, I created My Magic Mud, an all-natural teeth whitening and strengthening remedy. My Magic Mud is a soft powder that polishes your teeth, reduces sensitivity, and removes harmful toxins from deep inside your mouth. You deserve a bright, healthy smile. Visit MyMagicMud.com and get yours today. That's MyMagicMud.com. It's time to kick some ash because cigarettes have met their match. Smokers are switching to Vapriot e-liquid by LaSig because when you kick ash, you kick tar and smelly smoke too. LaSig smokes the competition with real people customer service, a seven-day satisfaction guarantee, and same-day fast free shipping. Become a vapor today at LaSig.com, spelled L-E-C-I-G.com. LaSig e-cigarettes, kick some ash. Big business has discovered the preparedness market, and that makes it difficult to know where to go and who to trust. My Patriot Supply Doctor.